Hi, it's Josie and today I'm going to talk to you about how to get your horse to stop pulling on the reins. Now, if you stay with me to the end, I promise you I will tell you the whole truth of how to do it. The problem is there are no quick fixes in horse training. There certainly are band-aid measures that can work for a short time, but they will always come back to haunt you. I'm going to show you the real reason your horse pulls on the rein and how to fix it. So do you want a horse that goes like this? He's not pulling on the reins. If I let go, he's not pulling. Doesn't reef the reins out of my hand. But if I ask him to stretch, he can do a nice stretch. And then when I ask him to come back up, he can come back up to a nice short frame and be nicely. I'm not holding him there. So if that's how you'd like your horse to go, watch till the end and I will show you exactly how I taught this horse to go like that. So it starts on the ground. Don't roll your eyes if you're a dressage rider, horse rider, show jumper. It starts on the ground. How do you think the horse learnt how to respond to the reins? So we start in the halter and if the horse is not good in the halter, I can promise you he will never ever be good in the reins. So what he should be good at is a very nice soft bend because that will come through to the rein. You can see how nice and soft that was. So he has to have a soft bend when you pick up a rein. Rope, rein, they're interchangeable, trust me. The horse also needs, not only does he need to be soft to the rein like that, he needs a nice soft backup. So it should be done softly without, I haven't even got any pressure on the rein here, and he needs to lead forward softly. So he should be able to come forwards and backwards very, very softly. This will all play forward into the rein, I promise you. So when your horse can bend to the rope and he understands what to do, that comes through to the saddle. You can see there, Rebel is very good at bending to the rein. Good boy. And he should also back up nicely. Good boy. So that is how your horse learns to do the correct response to the rein. So then when I want to turn Rebel's nose a bit in, I just pick up the rein. He does not pull on the rein. Turn him to the left, turn him to the right. All very soft, done with a soft feel. So when our horses are doing something wrong or having a problem with something, the first thing we need to look at is ourselves. So here is the bit that nobody wants to know about. You need to go and make sure your hands are good. If you do not have good hands, your horse is not going to be comfortable in the bridle. He's not going to be comfortable with the bit. He's going to reef the reins out of your hands. And I'm going to give you the secret to good hands. And the secret to good hands is carrying your own hand because if you're not carrying your hands you're leaning on the horse's mouth and people do that inadvertently if there's this there was one thing I could teach you it would be how to carry your hands it will make a world of difference to how your horse goes and you literally carry your hands by carrying your hands like this when I'm riding my horse my hands are just out in front of me as if I don't have reins in them but they're there with a rein in them I've taught the horse to accept the contact, we've had a connection, we've moved on to a contact and then we have a contact and I carry my own hands. I'm not pulling back to get the contact, the horse takes the, uh, the contact with his mouth and I hold it with my hand in one position. If he were to pull back there would be a little loop in. If he were to go forward a little bit, my hand could go forward with him. But you must learn to carry your own hand in space and then have the rein in it. To do that though, because it's not very easy to do that, and to do that you have to have your balance in the saddle. You're on a moving animal 
moving at different speeds and you need to be able to be balanced and supple. If you're wobbling all over the place without your balance, there's no way you're going to be able to carry your own hand because regardless of whether you think you do or not, if you're unbalanced, you are probably trying to use your hands in some small way to keep your balance because that's what we do as humans. It is a reflex in us to rebalance ourselves with our hands and arms. So I have got some awesome exercises and I've hand on my heart can promise you that I did them and I'll link them up here to help me with my seat and my balance on my horse. So whilst I'm riding Rebel along here, I am literally just carrying my hands. My hands are being carried as if there was no rain in them like that, but I have the rain in them. I'm carrying my own hands. As part of being able to carry your own hands, you need to have elastic elbows, which is why you need your balance, so that my elbows can, I'm exaggerating here, but open and close as I rise trot. Otherwise, I'll show you on the other bit of the circle here what happens if my elbows don't gently open and close. Sorry, Rebel. Here they are fixed. Can you see my hands going up and down? So my, oh, sorry, mate. So my hands open, uh, elbows, pardon me, open and close as I go up and down. In the canter, they open and close as my hips go forward and back and the horse's face goes sort of out and down, out and down, up, out and down, the way the canter goes. So I'm balanced here so that I can just carry my hand in space like that. Good boy. So if you want to practice this, practice this at the walk. So in the walk, you need to have very elastic elbows and shoulders. So your hand, your, I'm still carrying it, but it's in, that's what it's doing. It's following his mouth. So I'll come around here and use the outside one. So it's doing that, but I've got a contact, a light contact, and I'm holding my own hand in space and I'm following him. In the trot, you need to have elbows that open and close softly. Because if you don't, this is what your hands will do. And there's no way my horse is gonna be happy um, to take the contact with that and he's likely to pull the reins out my hands. So from that little bend that we did on the, with the rope and then with the rein, I can ask Ripple to come around this way, softly bending to the inside. Then I can ask him to softly bend this way. I've got a nice soft feel on the bit. And from all that soft little bending with the rein and the other education your horse gets, you can do some other stuff, which is gymnasticizing their body and helping them with their muscle tone and their joints and to keep nice and supple for the rest of their life. It all starts at the beginning and it all starts with teaching your horse what he needs to do with the reins so that he doesn't pull them out of your hands. I hope that helps and thanks for watching.